I want to give you an example of evil. I want to give you an example of how the children of the lie uh, change the way that we think and deal with life. And as a result, evil is winning. Well, it's starting to lose, and that's why it's desperately grasping for air because they are losing. Uh, this is from Fox News. Arizona lawmaker says, so listen to this. An Arizona lawmaker says there aren't enough white kids to go around. There are not enough white kids to go around in the uh, state public schools. There are not enough white kids to go around in the state public school. This is from an Arizona lawmaker, according to Fox News. We got this from Fox News. Uh, and I want you to hear this soundbite and tell me if what this man said is wrong. Really, is it wrong or is it true what he said? This is from uh, Facebook. Arizona State Representative David Stringer says 60% of kids in Arizona schools are minorities, meaning non-whites. And immigration is a threat to the country. Here's your soundbite. 60% of public school children in the state of Arizona today are minorities. That complicates racial integration because there aren't enough white kids to go around. But when you look at that 60% number for our public school students, just carry that forward 10 years, 15 years. It's going to change the demographic voting base of this state. And that's what's going on around the country. Immigration is politically destabilizing. President Trump has talked about this. I'm very concerned about this. This immigration today represents an existential threat to the United States. If we don't do something about immigration, very, very soon, the demographics of our country will be irrevocably changed and we will be a very different country. It will not be the country you were born into. Now, what's wrong with what the man said? It's true. Immigration is having a negative impact on my country, on America. It is true. Go to the public schools around your neighborhood. Nothing but illegal aliens and people of color from other parts of the world. And the Democrats want this, the children of the lie. They want this because it changed the voting pattern. These people come in, they're coming in from third world countries. They're bringing their own lack of morality, their social uh, socialism, and they're influencing America in a negative way. And the Democrats, who are the children of the lie, don't care about that because they want the votes. They want the power. They want the vote. So this man, who happened to be white, told the truth. And lo, lo and behold, a Democrat shared the video on social media calling him overtly racist and xenophobic, radical, and a xenophobic radical. Isn't that amazing? Um, and if you notice, he didn't call the representative a liar. He didn't say, the Democrats didn't say it wasn't true that this is happening. He called him a racist. And the reason for that is because they have made up this word, racism, and they have been able to succeed with that word for the last 60 years or so by intimidating white people and brainwashing and dumbing down people of color to use them for personal gain. We can no longer go to, uh, with that. Is it true what the man said? Yes, it is true. This is why we got to put a wall, a big, beautiful wall around the borders. We got to deport illegal aliens back to wherever they came from. We got to stop the mess or we will have a third world country. We got to, they are bringing the mess, as the president said, the asshole society to our country. And everybody just kind of sit back and they're afraid of being called names. 
And in the meantime, we are losing our country. And one man or woman stands up and tells the truth, who happened to be white, and they call him racist. And as a result, the good folks back down. You can't afford to back down anymore. And these people are coming in, and they are taught to hate white people by the children of the lie. Um, Stringer said he's not arguing against diversity, but what he said is true. And he should be arguing against diversity as well. This is not good for the country. So the Democrats use racism. I urge you to let that word roll off your back. It only has power if you are afraid of it. That's the only way it can affect your life is when you're afraid of it. Worse, as children, as sons and daughters of God, we are not supposed to be afraid of words because we understand that the children of the lie, that's all they have. They have no real power. Their father, the devil, has no authority. He is a liar. He has no power. So his children do not have power. If they can't intimidate you with words or threats, they have nothing. They will disappear. But you got to get over this, folks. This is a spiritual battle. You must realize that America is the greatest country on this side of heaven. I am not an, Afri an African American. I don't have an Afro. I have an Amerifro. There are no African drums beating in my chest. The American guitar is playing in my heart. Black as the ace of space, grew up on a plantation in Alabama, born there. My mama dropped me in Alabama. I was born there. I'm an American. And anyone who is born in this country and you don't see the devastation that's happening to this country, you call it yourself an African-American or whatever other thing, you're stupid. You're blind. You, you shouldn't be here. This country is worth fighting for. We got to close the back door. We must deport. And white people, start back having babies. Three children are not enough. Do what the Mormons do. Just have them until God says stop. Because if we allow the people of color to take over, and if we keep going down this road, they will, America will be a third world ghetto country. As the president said, it will be an asshole country. It really will. Because these people are coming from those countries, and when they come, they bring that environment. Look around you. They change the image of America. They have a socialist mentality, so they drain the government. They drain the system. Where else will we go if we don't turn it around?